Okay, my family, I have a message for us all. Um, I think it's really important right now that when we are in our prayer closets to be seeking to hear from the Holy Spirit of God. And he speaks to us all in many different ways. Some of it is by audible messages. Some of it is in our subconscious, our mind. Sometimes it's by a song that comes on on the radio or a license plate you may see or a sign. Sometimes he uses nature and the little animals. But he speaks to you in a way that is specific to you. And it's really important right now that we begin to listen more closely to his voice because the time is coming when we will need to pay attention and heed that that voice and that call um, with me it was on earlier this month during the Route 91 concert and the whole month before that he had been testing me to see if I was going to listen to his voice and pay attention to it and then the night of the Route 91 concert at 8.30 when I dropped off people at the Luxor. Then I felt it in my, a bad feeling, and I felt in my stomach. My stomach was feeling upset, and I think that was the Lord, the Holy Spirit, was telling me that it was time to get out of there, to go home. And immediately when I, <clears throat> when I felt that, I um, decided it was time to go home. So in the, coming, in the coming days, make sure you are listening to his voice. When you are praying in your prayer closets, pray for him to make himself known to you. And every morning when you wake up, pray the armor of God upon yourself. And now I pray, on Psalms 91 as well ever since the Round 91 concert here's a message from our sister Deborah Waldron Fry listen to my voice beloved there is a turnaround coming for you precious one behold I am doing a new thing listen to my voice beloved I'm giving you new revelations I'm bringing you to new realms and new atmospheres Listen to my voice, dear one, and gain new perspectives. You are not on earth. You are not an earth dweller. You have been born from above. You are not in the realm of the flesh any longer, but you are in the realm of the spirit. You are seated with me in heavenly places. You are a citizen of heaven with all the rights of a son and a daughter of the Most High God. You are royalty. You have been sealed with my spirit. The enemy cannot steal your birthright. It is my gift to you. Listen not to the voices of fear. No longer sing a dirge of mourning. Weeping may endure for the night, but I have promises that joy comes in the morning. Be not afraid, my love. I shall turn your mourning into dancing and your defeats into victories. By my goodness I shall display in the ages to come the transcendent riches of my grace in kindness to you. Arise from your place of despair, my darling my beautiful one, and come away with me. You are not in the realm of the flesh, but of the spirit. Song of Solomon 2.10-13 through 13. My beloved spoke and said to me, Arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me and see. The winter is past, the rains are over and gone. Flowers appear on the earth. The season of singing has come. The cooling of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its earthly fruit. The blossoming vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come, my darling, my beautiful one, come with me. Ephesians 2, 4 through 9. But God, being rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our transgression, made us alive together with Christ. By grace we have been saved and raised up with him and seated us with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show their surpassing riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. 
For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. Romans 8, 9. You, however, are not in the realm of the flesh, but are in the realm of the Spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God lives in you, and if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, they do not belong to Christ. Colossians 3, 1 through 2. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on the things that are on the earth. Focus on Jesus and call out to him in times of trouble, my family. I pray the blood of Jesus over this and anyone who listens to this audio message. I pray the holy fire, hedge of protection around your homes, around your families, around your places of work and worship, around your children and their schools, around their babysitters, and around your neighbors and our brethren. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I love you all, my family. Amen. In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy name.